This was how the day started. Taylor Walker was always going to be the focus of all interest. The Adelaide advertiser walking a fine line. Look, look, look at the photo, Jared. It, it yep. is a compelling photo. Taylor's tackling is just instinct. That was the defence being mounted before the uh, prosecution had even uh, had a go. Have a look at that again. Photo. Have a look at that again. It is. Look at the body angle, the legs. It is just a. Um, it's aggression. Instinctive reactions, I think, particularly when you're calling the match. Uh, we sampled those around Taylor Walker. Demoris wrapped up by Walker. Head oh. fire, dumped head first into the deck. Is Free that, kick, is Taylor that, Walker's ball. And he might get reported for it. How is that not a dangerous tackle? He has picked Morris up on the trims replay, took him in the air and dumped him on his head. Dumped him on his head. And dumped him on his head. And he got holding the ball. <laughs> he got holding the cord. Killer Carl Cox would have been proud of that one from Taylor Walker. <laughs> we will go to the video because he does have history. To Morris who's tackled by Walker. And thrown to the serve. Holding the ball. There's a fair chance looking at that on replay he may get cited for that. So it's an interesting situation, isn't it? He wins the free kick. But there's a fair chance he'll get reported and get games for the actual tackle. Just live, I thought, fantastic tackle. I know... Uh, yeah, Richmond player bounced up and kept playing. I, I know we have to be aware of any head contact with the ground and I think if you ask Taylor, he said he's learned his lesson on that one and um, yeah, I'll have to wait until I see a replay but I hope, I hope for the good of the game that he, he's okay. So that was wishful thinking as it panned out. The first thing from the umpire's department is it was an error yeah. by the umpire. As once uh, it, what started as a good tackle and Morris had taken him on, what started as holding the ball should have been a dangerous tackle by the end. The second element of this was in the match review panel assessed this and they have sent back reckless conduct, medium impact and high contact. And just uh, listen here to the, the chairman of the MRP, Mark Fraser. We regarded that, that sort of conduct as, as being reckless um, and you can see that there's high contact and a subsequent medical um, report um, uh, made us uh, increase the loading a little bit to, to medium. So the medical report here, Robbo, said that uh, Morris had neck soreness and in fact he went in for scans to check what damage had been done and that's played badly for Walker. I, I, I couldn't believe Brenton Sanderson's response to this. And I, I can't believe... You, you, you Crows fans who are just saying, oh, it, it, it shouldn't be a penalty. This rule was brought in, and I, I spoke to, you know, the fella involved in the Neil Saxe case, and he said it's going to take one moment, I think it was uh, Keith, one moment in life can change your life forever. This is the kind of moments that the AFL are trying to get out of the game. And it was ridiculous to think that people would say, oh... It was exuberant. It wasn't aggressive. It was ridiculous. And Taylor Walker, he has got issues. Much the same way, Jared. He, he reminds me of a very young Jonathan Brown and a young Wayne Carey. And for those who were around when they started, these guys were big and they were tough and they were boisterous and they used to go in and go pop. And then they realised they're going to get, keep getting suspended if they do this. Channel your aggression in other ways. Taylor Walker... He has got, he's got to be reprogrammed. He really does. It's, I, I, I looked at, when I saw it, I actually thought, just for a second, oh, he might have broken his neck. It's the piece you wrote last week, Walker needs to pull his head in before the panel does it for him. Well, the panel has done it tonight. This is how it's playing out in Adelaide, though. This is a sample on 5AA tonight. Where is your consistency? This is a joke. Yes, we don't want to see that tackle in the game. It's a bad look. It is dangerous. Give him one week. Not bloody four, it's a joke. Franklin on Paul Stewart. Here's what the match review panel said. Was an excessive force. I wouldn't have thought Taylor Walker's was any more than his. And his arms weren't pinned. Well, nor was this bloke's arms. Morris's arms weren't pinned. And he hit his shoulder as the first impact. And He's got four weeks. I think it's an absolute disgrace. And I think it's typical Victorian... They only want him out of the team because the Crows are going high now and they don't want them to take the cup away from Victoria again. I'm just looking at it live. I thought it was great. But, um, you know, obviously the um, match review panel have had a chance to look at it and the decision is... They've made that decision. But, you know, hopefully the club looks at it pretty closely um, tonight and tomorrow and um, can do something about um, mounting a defence for... Walk. 
Where are so they that's cute? Jason Plug Pleasure there, who uh, the risk would be if they challenge this is it will go to four weeks. So there will be no beating this for what it's no, worth. No, no chance. And the claims of one week is that's just not how the system works. It's clearly reckless conduct. The medical report makes it medium impact and it's high contact. So it's all on multiplications and then divisions. There's, there's no, it's only worth a week. Just a quick look at the history Hang here. On, what about Stephen Rowe, who's a leading South Australian commentator? Was he just screaming? I mean, that, so well, let's examine his point. Uh, sorry, Stephen, if you watch your show, I don't know, but are you an imbecile? Let what about Stephen Rowe, who's a leading South Australian commentator? Was he just screaming? I mean, that, uh, so well, let's examine, examine his point. Uh, sorry, Stephen, if you watch your show, I don't know, but are you an imbecile? Let what about Stephen Rowe, who's a leading South Australian commentator? Was he just screaming? I mean, that, uh, so well, let's examine, examine his uh, point. Sorry, Stephen, if you watch your show, I don't know, but are you an imbecile? Let's examine because this point, OK? Uh, well, oh. So that's what's happened on Saturday. This is the one uh, from earlier in the year. His Remember? arms were pinned and, yeah. they, and, and that was very, very strongly... Head into the ground. Head into so the ground. more flush and did more no. damage and has been graded in exactly the same way uh, now, on the medical report. And this is the Lance Franklin okay. one. And this is where we get into the area of... Uh, so he didn't land on his head. Is, and the match review panel said at the time that in the circumstances that was a reasonable action. Now, I do think this is the problem, I said this to you at the time, is if we wanted to take this out of the game, then it wouldn't be on the consequences, it would simply be on the action and the action of mm. the sling tackle. But they are not the same. You no, can't make no a way. credible look case that. that they are the same. You know, people think Victorians are vindictive towards South Australians. We celebrate, celebrate South Australian teams and players as much as anyone. But I just can't see how people look at what Taylor Walker did and accept it as part of the game. And, and that's just a tough part of the game. It's not a tough part of the game. It threatens to severely injure and incapacitate players for the rest of their lives. I, I'm just staggered by the reaction. I think when people gasp at the moment that it happens, it's a pretty good indication that it's not a regular did, did, occurrence. Did, oh, did you hear Jason Dunstall in the, yes, in the Fox yeah, call? Yes, that was and pretty and consistent. Yeah, and, I, and I, I, I agree with Jason. We'll talk Taylor Walker with, uh, with our two coaches, with Bomber Thompson and Stan mm. Elves, uh, shortly, because he's an interesting coaching challenge at the moment. He's, uh, he's, the a, good, rest he's of a good player. The, yeah, yeah. The